Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Culturally Challenged. My name is David. This is my beautiful wife, Tony. Hello. And tonight we're going to be watching the winner of our second Patreon poll of the Patreon pick of the month. What we do is we take all of our patrons, all of our paid patrons, we put them into a, a list, like a virtual wheel, spin the wheel, and the winner gets to choose our movie. And this week, Mike the Ginger was the uh, winner, and he chose My Girl from 1991. What do you know about it? Not a whole lot. I don't think we've even seen a trailer for it, no. other than um, you have told me to grab my tissue for some reason, so um, I'm a little worried. Yeah, I, I don't... I, I've never seen this movie. I don't know anything about it. I have heard that it is an insanely sad movie, so... It kind of sounds like a love story if it's called My Girl. Yeah, I mean, it could be a sad love story. I don't know. But I, I have heard that this is a, a sad movie. Um, I don't know. I know Macaulay Culkin's in it. I the kid from Home Alone. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I think it was maybe a year after Home Alone, so... He's funny. Yeah. He's so, cute. Hey, who knows? I mean, I, I really don't know much about it. Um, Mike has a movie review channel here on YouTube. We'll put the link to that down in the description. Go check that out. Um, you ready to get started on this one? Yes. That doesn't sound like a confident yes. Well, I'm getting a little hot right now. Okay. And I'm getting worried. Are you getting hot because you're getting stressed? I'm not sure. Okay. Well, we'll uh, put the AC down and... You might have to borrow one of your blankets if it gets too cold, because it's already kind of cold in here, but <laughs> okay. You ready? Hormones are high, I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> I didn't pick this one, so <laughs> if it's a horribly sad movie, Mike, that's who to blame. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to get started? Yes. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought about My Girl. Uh, if you'd like to see the full-length reaction to this and everything else we've reacted to, we'll put the link to our Patreon down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Turn on the notification bell. And on that note, on with the show. Dan Aykroyd. He's, he's a big name. Jamie Lee Curtis. I've seen her a couple of times now, I think. I was born jaundiced. Once I sat on a toilet seat at a truck stop and caught hemorrhoids. <laughs> and I've learned to live with this yeah. chicken bone that's been lodged in my throat for the past three years. Chicken bone? Dad, but my left breast is developing at a significantly faster rate than my right. It can only mean one thing. Cancer. I'm dying. Okay. Hand me the mayonnaise out of the fridge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the year you were born. Yep. Are you coming or not, Thomas J? I can't. I have to go home. Yeah, to play with his doll. He was in a sandlot. Come on, let's go. Hey, you didn't pay me. How do I know you're going to show Who us Who was one? in sandlot? Him. Okay, follow me and don't say a word. I think he was a, one of the twins. Why does she have caskets in her house? Maybe the father's an undertaker or something? Lean forward. <laughs> I want my money back. <laughs> Sometimes when we get them, they're not completely dead. But she's roaming around this house somewhere. This little girl looks familiar. In the rocking chair. <laughs> <laughs> Is that her grandmother? Probably. <laughs> Is grandmother in on it? How Probably. much do we make? <laughs> Hi, Benny. Aww. Mayna, would you bring down my cigarettes? See you later. That sucks. <laughs> Beta, just put him on the stool. So, do they live in a funeral home, maybe? Yeah, they have the business downstairs. Look at that porch. Oh my yeah. gosh. Is Mr. Harry Saltonfuss in? Sure. Come on in. I would imagine in a small town like that, that's going to be like a business you're not going to... It's not going to be very busy. Dad, somebody's here! He's downstairs working on Mr. Layton, prostate cancer. Once it hits your prostate, you're a goner. 
How may I help you? I I'm Shelley Devoto. We spoke the other day regarding the makeup artist's job. I am a licensed cosmetologist. I put people right at ease. Uh, Mr. Devoto, these people are already at ease. <laughs> it's a funeral parlor. They're dead? <laughs> he didn't. The ad just said makeup artist. Uh, excuse me a second, will you? <laughs> we probably should have looked a little more into this. Yeah. Just put it back in the display room, fellas. Okay, Harry. Mm. Daddy, how come that coffin is so small? They come in all sizes, honey, just like shoes. Is it for a child? Of course not. Then who's it for? Short people. What about the job? Oh, you, you still want it? Oh, oh, sure. It's no big deal. Oh, it's going to be a big deal. Hey, look at this. No feet. The real evil can evil. <laughs> I thought he was going to smash into the wall. <laughs> yeah. Well, what is it? I can handle it. You are perfectly healthy. I'll just have to get a second opinion. <laughs> <laughs> the whole medical profession is a crock. Her name is Beta, like the fish, the Beta fish? I guess so. Hey, look, that's Mr. Bixler. Let's go talk to him. I don't want to talk to no teacher. It's summer. Summer. I finished all the books for summer reading. Already? The summer's just begun. Yes, and now I'm reading War and Peace for fun. What? It's one big house for one single person. You never can tell. I might get a pet. <laughs> well, I'm going to teach creative writing this summer, so... How much does it cost? $35. Or Veda? With a V? Want to go to Gray's Orchard and pick some peaches? No, I'm going home. It's not dinner time yet. Dinner time? You're like a dog. You just go home to eat. <laughs> I love you so I always will What am I ever gone <laughs> She's got a crush Oh look she's in the yeah. picture Is she even looking at him <laughs> Harry what's wrong with her Oh she's just pretending Beta get up here and eat your broccoli I think it's my prostate Right <laughs> I got now, this isn't going to be a repeat of that. Smell their accident. Uh, don't knock that. Though. That's how we bought that new Cadillac. Know that, except... Is she quitting? <laughs> it's <laughs> a little crazy. <laughs> Gotta be some other job out there. Look, Maiden, her little boyfriend. I bet she kissed him on the lips. Do you think I kissed that ugly old thing? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> There's always been men girls, huh? Yeah. You know, Veda, you shouldn't let those girls upset you. I only surround myself with people who I find intellectually stimulating. <laughs> Daddy, can I have $35? It's a lot of money for a little girl. It's for school. A summer writing class. Well, last month you wanted to play the violin. Then you wanted to be a ventriloquist. <laughs> Dad? What? The money? Oh, maybe next summer. Look up. Oh no. Uh -oh. Why did he leave the door open? Yeah. I don't like this music. It sounds like a horror movie, doesn't it? Yes. Like the teacher is coming back to life. Where's the basketball? Is she gonna lock her in? <gasps> Yo! the father is aware of how traumatized this child is going to the doctor saying she has prostate cancer and yeah. well he doesn't seem to pay attention to her yeah didn't i give you a picture of what she looked like <laughs> this was the reverend porter's wife you have her looking like a two dollar hooker <laughs> i'm sorry nobody wears this hairdo anymore in 1972. this photo was taken a month ago at the church food drive <laughs> I was just wondering if there is anything wrong with Veda. What do you mean? I think she's confused about death. She was raised in a funeral home. She knows a thing or two about it. Don't give me any advice about my daughter. Okay? So, as I went out to let them in, it's hard to turn around. They're shelling! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Karate, 
you, camper. I'll give you the royal tour. What? Remember the one where he, he lost all his money? For oh, person? oh, trading places? Yeah, trading places. Would you like a soda? I would. Yes, please. I want something like that, like a camper just to travel around. Here, cheers. Those are cool cups. Shall I get out, Cookie? Mm. Oh, no. What's she saving for? Oh, no. She's going to steal the money from her. We're supposed to be home at noon for lunch. Thanks, Shelly. What do you say we head back? Can I use your bathroom first? Sure. Yep, she's going to take the $35. Let's not forget the part about the open heart. Veda, something I can do for you? I paid the money. For this class? I want to be a writer. This is an adult writing class. I think it's real beautiful. She wants to be a writer. Okay. Welcome to the class. Okay, uh, who's next? I experienced something with my boyfriend the other day, and I wrote a few words down. He covers me like a blanket. I know it's right to touch, to feel. Flesh all a mesh. <laughs> I wake up and light a joint. <laughs> <laughs> Is that her boyfriend? <laughs> I don't know. I wrote home too. I like ice cream a whole lot. It tastes good when days are hot. Vanilla, chocolate, or rocky road, even with pie a la mode. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to show me how you see the world. Your fears, your desires, your innermost secrets. My fears and secrets. I'm afraid I killed my mother. Hmm. Nothing's biting today. Maybe they had a big breakfast. I'm going to be an acrobat when I grow up. <laughs> Tell us you got something. Oh, no. <gasps> oh. oh. He did catch something. Yeah. I don't like touching fish. You're hurting him. Don't kill him. The hook was already out. Ouch. I'm bleeding. Did he get away? Go look. Aww. Yeah, he got away. Hey, we can become blood brothers. Mm. I'd do it. Can we go? Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> Ow. Mm. Ah. Now we're blood brothers through life. That's very sweet. No. Love story at the drive-in. I haven't been in the movies in ages. I don't think there's anything more romantic than going to the drive-in. I'll let you get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy playing bingo, and if you'd like to join me for a game tomorrow night at church, you're welcome to. Okay. <laughs> I think lipstick looks fake. No one's lips are that color. Come here, sit down. All right. Take a look. I think it looks real nice on you. Do you think I'm pretty? Yes, Beta, I think you're very pretty. Boys at school don't think I am. They'll come around. Close your eyes. I want to bring out the gorgeous color in there. The first rule in applying eye makeup is you can never wear enough blue eyeshadow. <laughs> I've been trying to get out to Hollywood for years to do makeup for all the movie stars. Shelly, I would definitely hold off on that Hollywood thing. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> you lip bleeding? No. <laughs> well, 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 what's going on in here? I'm dressing. Don't you know it's not nice to lie to your big brother? The shirt gives all right. <laughs> going out with Shelly. That's great. Very nervous. The last date I had was 20 years ago. Since the last time you dated, something happened. The sexual revolution. You used to have to hold the door open for a woman, pull her chair out. No more. You want to know what else is missing? Bras. <laughs> Night, Veda. Why are you dressed up to play bingo? Well, Shelly's coming over. We're going to go together. Can I go too? No, I think you better stay here and keep Grandma company. Where is she sneaking off to? I don't know. Well, I gotta admit, I just do not have any more bounty prisoners. It's a bit weird. <laughs> We're not gonna let us in, Veda. We're not gonna bet. We're just gonna watch. Watch bingo? I don't even like to play bingo. Duck. <laughs> Under the B, four. I just had a terrible thought, Harry. What's that? I'm gonna be putting makeup on some of these people very soon. 
<laughs> Why do you think these seats were empty? <laughs> Can we go yet? Go. You know I'm not allowed out by myself after dark. <laughs> no, I'm just not lucky, Harry. It's, it's not always luck. Are they using just corn? I don't know. Like popcorn? You can be in a room with a hundred men and not like any of them. Or you can be in a room with just one man. He's exactly the one you want. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Bingo! There was no bingo. It came from outside. Someone outside yell bingo, you moron. If you were 200 years old, I'd kick you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What you thinking? It's sweet. I think she worries a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask. Don't listen to your brother. Are you mad at me? No, oh, why? Not opening car doors. That was Phil trying to give me advice on dating 70s women. I haven't dated a woman in ages. Not since my wife died. What happened to her? Complications during childbirth. Oh, man. She died two days after Beta was born. Oh, my gosh. Dance with me. Here. Is there enough room? <laughs> what are you wearing? Old Spice. Phil says it's a timeless classic. <laughs> Beta's gonna be right outside the door. Yeah. And bang on the door. <laughs> Good night, Shelly. Maybe we can play bingo again sometime. Maybe we should try that drive-in of yours. <laughs> She's not happy. We're just going to be one of those where she kills her. Why? Dating her father. Goes all psycho. Who knows? And some lettuce. Oh, that's such a cute hat. I recognized you too. Hi, Beta. Hi. I'm just picking some things up for the barbecue. Yeah, me too. A lot of potatoes. Mm. It's for Shelly's famous potato salad. I'm looking forward to that. Hey, ow! Oh. Damn it! Beta, watch what you're doing. Sorry. <laughs> Dad, didn't you say you needed prunes real bad? <laughs> <laughs> Harry, Harry, Harry. Those uh -oh. look like they're burnt. Yeah. How's it going, Chef? Okay. I love your... Are they ready yet? No, no, no sweetie, not, not yet. Uh-oh. These guys are up to no good. It seemed like they had driven around. Yeah, they looked inside her thing, so this must be who she's running from. Hey, Shelly, like seafood? Mm-hmm. What? Seafood. <laughs> oh shit. Excuse me. Uh, hey Shelly. Who lives here? The Adams family? I'm here for the motor home. No. These two people do I not have a good it. relationship. Uh we got burgers and hot dogs here if you'd care to join us. Can't stay, I'm just here because my wife no, is... ex. Ex. My ex wife seems to have ripped off my camper. Now you've suffered a terrible loss, and there's really nothing anyone can do to comfort you. I urge you to focus on the times you had with the camper. Those days are gone now, but they'll live on in your heart forever. Go cook, okay? Give me the goddamn keys. Danny! Danny! Stop it. Danny. No. <laughs> Who are you? I'm his brother. Oh, then you'll probably be visiting us here quite often. Because if he ever tries to take Shelly's camper again, I'm going to bury him in my front yard. <laughs> Father's a savage. <laughs> <laughs> you were pretty great. Is it really your camper? Can we see it from the backyard? You can get the general idea. I love fireworks. I just like to have music with them. Mm. My uncle fought in the Korean War. He had a steel plate put in his head. One night, we picked up a radio station from Oklahoma in his teeth. <laughs> Veda, there is no chicken bone stuck in your throat. <laughs> Dr. Welty, are you sure those are yours? <laughs> so you fill it with water like this, and what have you got? A water gun. Miss Veda, how are you feeling? As good as can be expected. Hey, Vita, guess what we got? What? This! Hey! How much water does he have in that yeah. thing? <laughs> it's a beehive right there, so? From that. That's a lot. That's a Are big you beehive. You'll get stung. You wait, let's knock it down. Oh, no. I thought he was allergic to everything. Me too. My mood ring. It fell off. I gotta find it. 
Oh crap. Uh They're alive! Run for your life! Is she gonna get stung? Okay, well. Can he swim? <laughs> Let's go on the sit in the bench and rest ride. <laughs> <laughs> sit in the bench. I won! I won! There you go, little girl. Oh, that's a gorgeous goldfish. Where'd you get that, Ray? Did you win it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you see it? Later, we have something to tell you. Oh, no. We could have told her earlier. Shelly and I are getting married. They've dated like two times. Yeah. We're having the wedding sometime near the end of the summer. You'll be okay, little fish. Would you like us to get you another goldfish? No. Don't worry, I will get another fish. <laughs> oh, you can't go to a carnival and not ride the bumper. Oh, I'd fall asleep at the wheel. I'm gonna have bumper cars with you. She's gonna hit her a whole bunch or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. I remember the last time I was, I was on bumper cars. I kind of want to say, didn't they have them at Disney World? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> she looks a little worried now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like that death stare. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I like her little backpack. Hi, Beta. Hi, can Thomas Shay come out? Sure, come on in. I'm running away. Where are you running to? I'm going to Hollywood to live with the Brady Bunch. <laughs> I'm hungry. I can't last any longer. Then go home, baby. Some friend you are. You can come to my house for dinner. No, I'm hiding now. See ya. Yeah, I'm just staying late. she getting hungry or cold? <laughs> Daddy! 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 Hey, Beta! What's the matter? I'm hemorrhaging. Did this happen in the bathroom? How old are you? I'm 11 and a half. My mommy and daddy did that. Actually, a very beautiful thing. <laughs> well, that's probably Thomas J. I don't want to see him. It's not fair. Nothing happens to boys. Hi, Veda. Can you come out? Maybe we can go swimming. No. Get out of here. <gasps> Man. Don't come back for five to seven days. What? Veda, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Oh no. She's gonna go in there and start singing. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no. no. It's quarter to three. And me. I got a little story. You ought to end of a brief episode. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Very, very sorry. Now, what were you thinking? Huh? It's your responsibility to watch her. Do you have any idea how upset those people are in there? Can you have to go to the bathroom? I mean... Have you ever kissed anyone? No. Maybe we should, just to see what's the big deal. But I don't know how. Here, practice on your arm like this. Like this? Mm -hmm. Oh, his hands are so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. Then I won't be able to see anything. Just do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two and a half. Three. <laughs> Say something, it's too quiet. I pledge allegiance to the flag. <laughs> Liberty and justice for all. <laughs> okay. That was odd. Why aren't they riding their bikes? Better not tell anyone. Better not either. Let's be on it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh. What do you think of me? For what? 
What if you don't get to marry Mr. Bixler? I guess. <laughs> He's trying to find the ring for her. Yep. Oh, I found it. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. He's gotta run. Yeah. Quickly. He's gotta run. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, oh no. shit. Oh no. Oh man. Oh, man. Something happened to Thomas J. last night. He stepped on a beehive. I told him not to tease those bees. Did he get stung? Maybe I should go over and yell at him. No, sweetheart. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> he was allergic to bees. He's okay, isn't he? There were just too many of them. What's wrong, sweetheart? I can't breathe. I'm suffocating. Oh, wait, relax now. Let me look. It hurts so bad. What hurts, baby? The bee stings. Hmm. <laughs> Ada? old her only friend in the world is dead but what do you want from me stop hiding harry don't ignore the living <laughs> special we're here to honor thomas james sent was born may 7th <laughs> family has asked me to say a few words before you see one word that keeps why would God choose to take this little boy from us? <laughs> God has chosen Thomas J. for some very special <laughs> lies with the land. The day is not divided. <laughs> Do not hinder them. The kingdom of God is wrong. <laughs> Sorry about Thomas J. Do I? <laughs> Justin and Ron just say that I should tell people what I feel. I love you. I love you like my dad loves Shelly. I want to live here. I think your dad would miss you. No, he wouldn't. Okay, I'll be ready in a second. I just... Oh, no. Suzanne, this is Veda. I'm really sorry. Could you just give us a minute? Where's Dad? That's Suzanne. She and I are going to be married this fall. No. I wanted to hear your poem. Please, honey. I cared for him, too. Veda, please. Veda. Veda, sweetheart, don't. Oh, no. Oh, shit. No. Are you serious? Shelly, I'm sorry, but we haven't found her it's yet. It's dark. Teacher called, and he said that she I went know, there first. I know, I know. You told but us. I... Veda? Are you okay? Oh, God. I should have 
should have told Thomas J if he was my best friend. I'm sure he knew. I stole some money from your cookie jar to pay for the writing class. It's okay, sweetheart. I'll pay you back. I'll tell you what. You dedicate your first book to me. That he was gonna kill that Did I kill my mother? <laughs> the beast killed Thomas Jay and I killed my mother. Oh, sweetie, that wasn't your fault. It just happened. I found this. I forgot about that picture. Little Chevy was your mother's favorite car. What was my mama like? Kind. She had your eyes. Oh, boy, did she love to laugh. Sometimes when you laugh, you sound just like her. Do you miss her? I did very much. I think every time I see a climbing tree, I'll think of Thomas J. Memories are good, sweetheart. You're a good girl. I want you to be happy. Don't be an old grump like me. Daddy, it's not so bad to be like you. Mrs. Senna, how are you doing? Days I think I'll be okay. Others, well, I have to force myself even to get out of bed. I know it's crazy, but sometimes I think he's just away at summer camp. How's Veda? Oh, she's doing much better. Veda! Mrs. Senate. Veda. <laughs> Thomas J. had this on him. Thought you might like to have it. <laughs> you were such a good friend to him. I hope you'll still come by and visit me. I will. Mrs. Senate? Thomas J. will be all right. My mother will take care of him. <laughs> Encased in talent, like the uniform, the rank of every poet is well known. Tears running down. Why do you always weep and frown? Is it because he left you one day? Is it because he could not stay? You think death has ripped you forever apart, and I know he'll always be in your heart. <laughs> Things are a little better these days. I finally swallowed that chicken bone. Judy and I are going to be in the same homeroom. Okay, that was my girl. What did you think? That was um, that was a really sad movie. Yeah, it started out, you know, it, it seemed like it was, you know, a growing up kind of, you know, coming of age. You know, it seemed like it was going to be a nice, sweet story. And then all of a sudden it took like a, a drastic turn. Like, what the hell? Out of nowhere. Yeah. So, yeah, it... I don't quite understand why they called it my girl. Maybe sh she's uh, her father's girl, or maybe she was the other kid's girl. You know, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. I, I thought it was. I mean, it, it was a it was a good story. I mean, it had um, the characters were great. Um, you know, I it just took a such a drastic turn that I was not expecting. You know, I thought it might okay, well, it might be more about the father, you know, finally healing his wounds and you know coming together with her at the end. I, through the movie, I was trying to figure out what where are they going with this? What where are we heading? You know, is this a father daughter movie? Is this the 
daughter finally coming to grips with her mom dying? I mean, where... I don't know. I It was confusing on yeah. where it was going, but... Yeah, and then all of a sudden it just said, okay, here we go. We're going to Sadville now. And just like, what the... Because at first, you know, when he... When he um, when they they were messing with the beehive, I was like, oh no, this kid's going to die. He's going to get stung by bees and going to die. And then they run off and I was like, okay, well, I was wrong there. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of thought that maybe she was going to get stung. And that's why it was called My Girl, because she yeah. was going to die. Yeah. Yeah, even at the end there where the cop shows up at the house, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah. A movie you've just killed the two main character kids, yeah. two were kids and, and kids, yeah. yeah so what what what's the point of the story yeah. you know but it was really sad um it was super interesting mm -hmm. it was super sweet yeah yeah i mean it had some funny moments it had some heartfelt moments very sad i'm glad that i think her name was judy mm -hmm. um brought her dad back to reality on how he needed to be a father and be supportive of oh, i thought judy was a little girl that oh, she ended I up know, hanging whatever. out with. i know who you're talking about though jamie lee curtis's character yeah yeah i'm glad that he kind of came around yeah can you imagine growing up in a in a house like that i oh no yeah. no i mean i guess that's what his job was but yeah that's rough. I don't know why anybody would choose that job. I remember when I was in college, I one of my courses was um, like websites, mm -hmm. like website design and all that. And they assigned me to the uh, mortician department for the school because the college I was at actually had a mortician department. Mm -hmm. And I remember like I was like super freaked out. I did not want to talk to these people. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't want to go down there. And they were like, the, they were like the funniest people I've ever met. Mm -hmm. Everything with them was a joke. And I was like, at one point, I think I finally asked one of them. I was like, why are you guys kidding around so much? You got all these, you know, you got dead bodies in the next room here. And the guy's just like, it's just how we deal with it. I mean, it's part of life. You know, we're just here to, to, see these people out on the you know at the end and he said we're here more for the family so you know if you let it get to you yeah this this kind of stuff is gonna eat you alive and he said like his family had done it and you know it was you know like his family business and he was just going to college for that and he was going to get in the family business so mm -hmm. i mean I, I don't think it was a career i would have chosen but i remember they were like wanting like you know hey can we put like you know skeletons on the website and you know like making it funny i was like i don't know about that and my teacher was just like no no you cannot do that yeah. yeah i don't care what they're asking for we have to override them at this point but yeah. i couldn't have the the caskets open with both my parents when both my parents died i just i couldn't yeah I just could No, I. I don't. I don't know. Not my thing to have the casket open either. But I mean, to some people, I guess that helps them with the grieving process. I don't know. I mean, everybody deals with it different. You know, if I recall correctly, with my mom, we had a picture, a real pretty picture of her. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember that with my dad. We had. Um, no, your dad. Remember, we got the the newspaper from his town and we put his hat on the on the thing and it had a picture of him too was there a picture mm -hmm. I, yeah, was a I picture don't remember i'm pretty sure there's a picture of him i know we had the newspaper because that was the greatest newspaper in the world was in the town he lived yeah. in and he always wore his hat yeah and he always wore his fedora so yeah so we had that on there huh so i just yeah. can't remember if we had a picture out of him I, I want to say we did, but I don't remember. I, I don't remember that. I just remember the the casket itself with the newspaper and the hat. So mm. I put okay. that out for him. And then we all we all wore the hats. I remember that. Mm. We went to Target and bought, what, 20 fedoras or something. <laughs> mm. yeah, so. yeah, so overall, do you have anything to say to, to Mike? <laughs> 
Mike, you weren't very kind today. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I give you five tissues. Five tissues, huh? Five tissues today. There's five tissues. So not quite interstellar level of crying, but... It, but I do thank you that I didn't end up in the shower trying to calm down because it wasn't as That's intense. As intense, a, yes. And I don't know why it was so intense with the other one, but I don't know. I thank you that I didn't end up in the shower crying by myself. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else you want to say? No. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought of My Girl. If you'd like to see the full-length reaction to this and everything else we've reacted to, we will put the link to our Patreon down below. Uh, Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.